sure that's that. <laughs> hey, it's Brad Conn with The Conn Report, and today I'm super delighted to be with Aram Afshar of Afshar Properties and Quintessential right. Estates. Yeah. Um, we're here in an $11 million listing on Beverly Drive in, in Beverly Hills, which Aram just put on the market yeah. in the last week uh, or so. Less than a week, yeah. Less than a week, and they're already entertaining offers, so he's doing his job amazingly as usual. Um, Aram is one of my favorite people in the world for a number of reasons, but uh, today I wanted to talk a little bit about his business. He's gonna tell you a little bit about the real estate industry and also about how he's been able to reinvent himself over the last 15 years or so. So why don't you talk a bit about your background and what you do? Well, uh, I grew up in LA, as you know, and uh, I went to school here and shortly after school, uh, I got into the mortgage business. I kind of always wanted to be in real estate in one capacity or another. And there was, my friends were making a ton of money when they were, I don't know, they're like mid twenties, like early to mid twenties doing that. And so I said to myself, you know, if these guys can be doing yeah. it, I can be doing it. So I started working with a friend of mine and we did really well um, through, you know, 2004 through 2008. And then as the market started to turn, uh, I had a, I had a epiphany that, you know, there was going to be a big calamity coming, you know, to the market with people losing homes and, and the whole thing. And so right at that time, it was 2008, right around then, we kind of, we decided to shift our business and stop lending and start kind of working on trying to make, hopefully fix the problem, which was homeowners that were in distress. Uh, and we, we, really started you know, identifying those homeowners, talking to them, trying to help them with their lenders. And a lot of that led to selling their homes before the banks actually foreclosed on them. And it was called short sales. And, and you became the kind of the we became, we became the We became like the actual experts in Southern California. Uh, we were go-to people. Um, we did a lot of luxury homes. We did some low-end homes, but what we did was volume. So we sold about 300 or 350 short sales in, in, a, in a span of like three, four years. Um, so that's how I kind of transitioned into the sales side of the business. And, um, and then after that, of course, the market started improving again, you know, in 2012, 2013 is really when it started taking off again. And that business, while there's still, you know, quite a bit of it, you know, being in Beverly Hills and being from Beverly Hills, I, I really realized that, you know, the true, you know, the apex of this business is to be selling luxury homes. Absolutely. And, and so that's really what I geared and I, and I repositioned my business again to cater to, which is really the high net worth, the luxury homes. Yeah. Um, and again, you know, because of growing up in Beverly Hills and doing those things, I realized that I had a network. And then recently, uh, I, I made the connection with Quintessentially, which is a luxury lifestyle and concierge company based in London. They have 70, over 70 offices around the world, um, and they basically cater to high net worth individuals, you know, offering concierge services, but also other services like wine and art and event planning and, you know, lifestyle management and real estate. So you're heading up their real estate division here in, in America or, or on the West Coast? Or? In California. In California. So I basically am the exclusive uh, partner for Quintessentially in California, all of California. Wonderful. Yeah. And we're starting in LA. Wonderful. Uh, and then, you know, the plan is eventually, hopefully we can do an expansion and maybe yeah. San Francisco and San Diego. And great. Other, great. Other places where, you know, the high net worth people will want to buy and sell. That's great. Yeah. So you heard it here first, uh, quintessentially estates. I can tell you firsthand, Aram really is spectacular at what he does and um, always gets glowing reviews from clients, um, both on the selling and on the buying side. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just want to talk a little bit more about these transitions because mm -hmm. it seems, coming from the music industry, which is slow, so slow to shift, right. um, the way you've spoken about it, it was almost as if you were looking at the market and saw what was going on and just thought it was almost like a natural progression. Right. Is that right. accurate? Because I find that a lot of people become very tied right. to, this is the way I've done business for 20 years, right. this is how it has to be, right. and they kind of struggle in that transition, right. and yet you've right. done it 
three or four times now, yeah. um, seemingly quite fluidly. So can yeah. you talk a little bit about that and what went through your mind at the time? You know, when the market changes or when you're kind of going into an unknown uh, and, you're, and you're pushed out of your comfort zone, there's always a little bit of panic and you know, you, you're not sure if what you're doing is the right thing or not. But, you know, I think, so, well, at least for buying and selling homes, you know, and I guess you can relate it to the entertainment industry, it's just something that there's always going to be a need for. People are always going to want to be entertained. People are always going to buy and sell homes. They, everybody needs a place to live. And so there are a lot of different ways in which to sort of uh, approach that, that market, you know, and, and whether it's a market in which people are desperate to sell or desperate to buy, you know, there's a way in which, you know, you can provide a valuable service, you know, and the recent reiteration of what we're doing is, you know, the, the, the high net worth, I mean, the, you know, the, for better or for worse, the top 1%, you know, really have, have dominated and, and they, they, own, they own a lot of the net worth, you know, the, 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 a lot of the, the uh, a lot of the capital, a lot of the capital. Yeah, that's yeah, that's right, that's sure. right, so. Yeah, it's a great, it's a great market to be in. I'm sure there's a lot of competition, but with your experience and with your network, you know, you've you've um, you, you've branded yourself and positioned yourself really well. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Thank you. So congratulations on, it, yeah. on 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 quintessential estate. Thank you. Thank and you. what you're doing with this place is fantastic. Yeah, yeah, um, we'll sell it pretty soon. Yeah, yeah, great. And is there anything else you'd like to let the viewers know about what you're doing or? Not really, you know, I just uh, thank you for interviewing me and uh, this is, I think this was a good example of a home to be interviewed at because we, we found this home actually for the, the person who's selling it. So I found the home for him and he ended up buying it and he's going to make a handsome profit when we resell it for him. Right. You can't really see how magnificent this place is uh, from the shot right now, but just give them a quick overview of the spec. And sure, then. yeah. So we're, we're basically uh, on Beverly Drive. We're a block away from the Beverly Hills Hotel. So very central. Um, the home is, you know, majestic, almost 9,000, a little over 9,000 square feet. Uh, the main house is six bedrooms, eight bathrooms. The guest house is another two bedrooms and uh, two bathrooms. Uh, it's on a 16,000, a little over 16,000 square foot lot. It's got extremely high ceilings, large open spaces, media room, cigar smoking room, um, you know, indoor outdoor flow. So you've got a really nice Spanish vibe, but also very Californian with uh, yeah. with the big sliding doors and you know the ability to enjoy the weather. You know, when you're out here. Yeah. While I'm saying that, I'm just going to quickly give you a quick uh, look at this room. So. This is the formal, the formal living room. I'm standing by the fireplace. It's what, 15, 18 foot ceilings, cigar room. It's about 15, 15 foot ceilings, that's right. Anyway, Aram, I want to thank you very much for uh, the interview and for thank taking you. the time. Thank you, and, pleasure, uh, yeah. pleasure. Thank you. All right, thanks thank Brad, you. cheers.